In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an interior perspective. We start the same way we did with our mystery drawing, by taking our ruler and marking from corner to corner. And in my sketchbook, I have these perforated pages. And so my corner starts right there. And this becomes the center of vanishing point. Now, you want to take your ruler and you're going to measure from the edge of your paper um, for you. My paper is about two and a half inches. Your paper will be smaller in your sketchbook, so measure about two inches for you. I'm doing two and a half. And it doesn't matter where you measure that from, as long as you measure two inches from the bottom. Then you're going to draw between those two lines, but just like in your mystery drawing, you're only going to draw between the two diagonal lines. Okay, take your other side, and again for you, you're going to measure two inches. I'm measuring two and a half, because my sketchbook's a little bit bigger. Measure two inches. Again, for me, it's two and a half. And again, it doesn't matter where you measure, just as long as you have those two lines. You connect the lines and you draw only from the diagonal to the diagonal. And if you're paying attention, you know really well what we're going to do next. We're going to connect those up, just like we did in our mystery drawing. But this time, we only have this one box that we're doing. Now, in our drawing, this will become our inside room. If we erase these lines inside this box, do not erase your vanishing point, just erase the lines. You will see that this becomes our back wall of our room. Here's my vanishing point right there. This is the floor of our room. Wall, ceiling, and wall. So I have this line, which is where this, excuse me, I have this line, which is where the floor meets the wall, just like in your normal room. This line, which is where the wall meets the ceiling. Ceiling meets the wall right there, and wall meets the floor right there. This is also where the wall meets the floor. Wall meets the wall. Ceiling meets the wall. And wall meets the wall. Right? Let's put in a door. I want to put a door on this wall. When you do your sample, that's where I want to see it. A door on the wall. So I know that my door happens to be just a little bit below the ceiling. Most rooms have 8 foot walls. And the doors are about 7 feet. So I know that my door is going to come to about here. So I'm going to match up my vanishing point, And I'm going to move my ruler so it's just below the ceiling line. And I'm going to draw with a light construction line, my line right there, that comes to the vanishing point. Now I want my door to be kind of in the front of the picture plane. Remember, in one point perspective, vertical lines stay vertical, so make it parallel to the edge of the paper, and I know that doors come all the way to the floor. So I'm going to draw my line all the way to the floor line. I do not want my door to be as wide as the wall, so I'm going to come over about this far. And again, I'm going to make my door vertical, so I make sure that my ruler is parallel with the wall and parallel with the paper. And I'm going to draw the side of my door. I can erase the extra construction lines. Because I drew them light, they erase really easy. I think I want to put trim around my door, so again I go vertical. Vertical lines stay vertical and it's parallel to what's there. Hold my ruler tight and I draw a vertical line. I line up with my vanishing point and I'm going to draw the top of my door trim. I can erase this extra construction line. And then I'm going to draw it right here on the side. 
and I have framed my door. Now most doors have a doorknob that's just below center height. And I know that the center of my wall falls right where my vanishing point is. But I want my doorknob a little bit below, so I'm going to line up my vanishing point. I'm going to mark it, and I'm going to draw a doorknob right there. So I have a doorknob in my door, and a door in my wall. Let's put a window on this side. Once again, I know that windows go almost to the top of the ceiling. So I'm going to match up with my vanishing point, move my ruler to where I want the top of my window to be, which is right about there, about the same as my door, and I'm going to use a light construction line and draw the top of my window. Now windows are different sizes. I could do a short window that's up here, I could do a medium window that's about here, and I could do a really long window that's about here. But I want to put furniture on this wall. So I'm going to make my window to be about there. I'm going to line up my vanishing point to where I want the edge of my window to be. And using the light construction line, I'm going to draw the bottom of my window. So I have the top of my window and the bottom of my window. Now, once again, vertical lines stay vertical and they're parallel. So I'm going to line up with my wall, make sure I have a parallel line. And I'm just going to connect those lines right there. Then I'm going to move this over, make sure my ruler is parallel with my paper. And I'm going to put the edge of my window right about there. Once again, I can erase my construction lines. Because I drew them in light, they erase quite easily. There's my window. Now, I could put a frame around my window also, but I'm going to choose not to. I want to put a window pane in my window. And I know the window panes fall right about the center. So I can either eyeball where I think the center is, or I can measure it with my ruler, and it looks like my center is right about there. Line up my vanishing point with that center point, and I'm going to draw one of my um, window pane lines, and move it down a little bit, and line up the other window pane line. If I don't line it up with the Vanishing point, and I just start straight across, it's not going to look right. Now I'm going to eyeball the center here, and I'm going to eyeball that it's about there. I could measure it if I want to, but I don't want to. I'm just going to draw a parallel line. So there's one window pane. Move this over and draw the other window pane. And there's my window with the window pane. I want to draw curtains. And I'm going to do the tie back curtain. So I'm going to go right about the center, right there. And I know that it's going to tie back to the center here, so I'm just going to draw a tie back, and then there. Go to about the center here. Now here's my center, because remember I used it from the vanishing point. So I'm going to go to the center, and then down to about the center. And then I have my window, my curtain. Now if I, I don't quite like the shape of that, I just want to redo it, so I'm just going to redo it right there. Erase construction lines. Alright, I know that I can see the top of that window, the thickness of the wall, when I look out the window, and I can see the window seal here. So let's draw that in. But because I have my curtain, I only have to draw where I would see it. I line up with the vanishing point, draw it right there, and I line up with the vanishing point, draw it right there. I happen to know that my window pane would go right in the center, so I just erase a little bit and I draw the end, and I erase a little bit, and I draw the end. Okay, I have my back wall, I have my window, I have my door, I have my floor, my wall, my ceiling, my wall. Next thing we're going to do is add furniture.